What's good fam? Today I'm in Lindi, a small town here in southeastern Tanzania. Yes, family, so I'm back in Lindy now. If you lot go on my playlist on this channel, I already covered this town a few months back, but I'm just passing through again while I'm heading to another town, which is about four hours away from here, just stopped by Lindy. Now, for me, Lindy is one of those underrated towns. Like, you know, a lot of people might go to Zanzibar and other places, but there's some beautiful beaches here in Lindy, which I feel is not explored much by people from outside of Tanzania. So it's one of those places, for me, I feel that you should consider visiting whenever you come to Tanzania. Now, Lindy is a small town, like you can literally walk around it. You don't need to get public transport. You could walk around within the town in, in under an hour, yeah? But for, what what's one of the main attractions for the town is definitely its coastline and its beaches and we're gonna just walk around the area so you can see what that's like they are trying to do some developments here so you can see over here they have like um, a mini team park for the kids it's very mini guys a small one but you can see they're trying to you know bring a little vibe to the place and that's a bar over there as well people come there especially on the weekends to get a drink and stuff and they do do food also so the place definitely has potential and with more people coming it will, it will be more it'll be much more of a vibe here and um, yeah so let's see what's happening here so this is what you'll see once you've reached near the beach area and you can see they're really trying to, you know incorporate a bit of um business and stuff here so like this here this is a bar another bar as well so you can even come and sit on the chairs here have a drink relax or you can also go a bit inside so there's like a indoor area as well and then over here this is the team park that i'm telling you about it's not even a, th a theme park per se but they got some ride they call it an amusement park Mashuja amusement park and you know the bar right there over there that's where they do the food and different things like that different variety of food rice um fish chicken all that different good stuff you can get at here and this here is another bar area where you can come and relax so it's a it's a nice place for relaxation guys i mean lindy is a, it's a sleepy town um you know it's sleepy not much nightlife as it is in other towns in tanzania but it has potential and there are quite a few small bars dotted around the place and yes yeah, a vibe now it's mainly a muslim town so the majority of people that lives in lindy they follow the religion of islam right so the, you know you won't find that great great big nightlife but at the same time if you're looking for peace and relaxation definitely consider lindy i mean just look at this beach my guys this is absolutely stunning you got the coconut trees there i mean enjoy the view guys enjoy the view some people selling fish and stuff up there you know you get that in the mornings and um, you also get fishermen as well if you come out real early you can see them when they come in with the um, fish that they caught from the previous night so that's all good a lot of people in this community rely on fishing for their main sources of um, income so that's something that you should know about the town and then you've got people that do um, small-scale farming that's easy 
that do small claim small scale farming so yeah this is the vibe man i'm look look how amazing this beach is it's wide it has a lot of potential man and you can see from the shots i've shown you from above you could even have like a beach party here and even and further down there's a bar as well down there that in the past that they used to have beach, beach parties and stuff like that so it's all a good vibe the area is very safe I walk here at night and there's no issues over there there's another bar as well it's called cool beach so yeah man Lindy is nice I mean to be real with you from the beaches if I'm comparing beaches in Dar es Salaam and Lindy I feel Lindy got better beaches than Dar es Salaam 100% 100% and and the beaches are surrounded by lovely trees you know little mini mountains hills it's really nice man now that's one thing for me I think Lindy has over let's say Tanga now in Tanga you got like one mini beach in Raska zone but in Lindy here I mean you've got a beach that it's a few miles man like right oh oh as far as down there come up here back over there that's all the beach man it's big you know Tanga haven't got that but I would say though um, if you compare it to a city like Tanga here in Tanzania I feel like Tanga still got more um, different people that remain there like I'm walking around Lindy like when you walk in the town like long ago you had different people from all over the world that used to live in Lindy it was known as the Paris of you know East Africa but a lot of people have left um, a lot of people from the Asian community other places they have left but I find in Tanga a lot of people still remain and I guess perhaps in Tanga for business purposes you got it's, it's much more better than Lindy Lindy's maybe a bit more slower but if you have a certain amount of money and you're really just looking for peace and relaxation man Lindy is the spot to be These children are just chilling, building a sun castle. That's easy. Now this over there in um, Kiswahili is called a Kibanda right it's like a hut and they made of um wood and also they use the bamboo the bamboo no no not actually the coconut leaves yeah the leaves from the coconut tree right they dry and then they make the thatch at the top there for the roof and people usually come here um right there you can order food like rice and ugali and stuff like that and then they'll serve it to you in the hut there and then if you're looking for like drinks you can get juice you can get um soda you can also get alcoholic drinks if that's your preference as well so nice little vibe here so you could just be here in under the hut in the kibandas here and just enjoy this beautiful view yeah guys so this is just my morning walk here in Lindy on the beach real peaceful vibes I'm loving it and I wanted to share this experience with you so whenever you consider visiting Tanzania travel south you know there's places like Lindy and Twara which we're going to check out as well 
you know, some of these towns, these are ancient Swahili towns as well. Just as how Zanzibar has its history, Pemba has its history. These southern towns as well does has a lot of history. And, you know, although it might not be as popular, you won't be disappointed if you do visit it as well, man. If you want to enjoy the beach and relax, you can do that right here. If you really want to get that Swahili vibe like what you even get in Zanzibar, you can get that in the southern places. I went to um, a place called Mikindani and I learned so much about the history of that place. That documentary is coming out soon. So you learn about all of that as well, man. <music> So again guys, you can see what I was saying, all around you got different bars that's dotted around. Right here there's a place called Mazingira Fast Food and you can see they have Chipsy Kavu which is just like chips with a salad, Chipsy Yai which is like um, fried egg with chips and Chipsy Kuku that's chips and chicken, um, Mshemsho Wambuzi that's like um, fried um, you got like goat meat, you got nyamachoma, beef, you got supu ya pueza, which is um, oct octopus soup, samaki, which is fish, you got supu utumbo, which is like a soup of um, intestines, you got ugali nyama, which is ugali and beef meat, and you got wali nyama. So these are some of the things you can um, buy around here, like for food and stuff like that. Um, they are like, there's another hotel which is further down the beach, it's called Sea View Hotel. One of the best in um, Lindy. Um, in the very modern facilities, they've got a swimming pool and everything like that. So there you most likely get international cuisine if that's something you're interested in. Um, yeah, you know, so like for a night in a hotel like that, you're, you're looking like anywhere between around let's say 30 us dollars a night so it's around a hundred a hundred thousand 150 thousand tanzanian shillings a night for a standard room in that upscale hotel here in lindy okay so that's what you're looking to pay for a night very reasonable and if you're really on a tight budget you can get um rooms around Lindy here for like 25,000, 30,000 Tanzanian shillings and even as low as 15,000 Tanzanian shillings so that's, that's around like say 12 US dollars a night in some, some places and what's good about those hotels they're very near um, the bus station so if you're taking um, the inter, in, intercity buses then basically you're near the station so when you gotta leave you're very close by you get on your bus and you you're gone so that's really convenient here in Lindy as it's not that big guys I mean it does have potential man look at that man it got a bit of a got a bit of a Miami feel out here man wide beaches lovely coconut trees the only thing is like um, you know you ain't got the crowd not many people coming but it has potential and I like that this is another bar here as well, you know? This is Lindy, baby. But, but you know, sometimes, yeah, I think like for some places what that don't have a lot of tourists, it could be a benefit to the town, you know? Cause sometimes when you have a lot of tourists come they may come and introduce certain behaviors which is not um, appreciated by the local people. I mean, you get a lot of people in Zanzibar these days complaining about some of the um, um, things foreigners are doing in Zanzibar that they're not happy of. They're not respecting the customs, they're dressing in a certain way, you know, stuff like that. So it does have this negative and positives having a lot of tourists but if you're one of those travelers who don't mind going places where a lot of people don't go Salaam Alaikum yeah. if you don't um, you know you don't like going to places where a lot of tourists go but you still want to have a good time you want to relax Lindy's the place to be I mean look at these coconut trees and real crystal clear water it's nice man
is all right this is another bar again mini one and free wi-fi and you have a bear here that's the kilimanjaro beer so you can get a beer for 1500 tanzanian shillings um that's under one pound under one u.s dollar as well think about one u.s so yeah this is it and you do have people that actually live here as well so these are all um various people's homes you know and similar um archi architecture and stuff to what you see in tanga because a long time ago a lot of germans the colonialists and stuff a lot of them used to live in this town so they brought some of their way of building houses here as well so yeah this is what you see in lindy very peaceful after very very peaceful if you're someone that's looking for a place where you can just go to clear your mind and just have a peaceful time without any stress and drama consider lindy Now to get to this place, it's not difficult at all. Um, let's say from the bus station, it's around 15 minutes walk from the bus station, 15 to 20 minutes walk from the bus station to here. And if you don't want to walk, you can get um, a Boda Boda or even a Bajaji. And you just tell them, look, this is your Swahili words for today, yeah? I need to go to like the coast and they'll just take you here you know just like that I need to go to the coast or like the beach and it's it's, it's around 1000 Tanzanian shillings from like the bus station to the beach so that's all that's like one pound under a pound guys under one US dollar so it's certain definitely affordable transport is relatively cheap in this place very reasonable affordable and that's due to the fact it's a small town so you're not gonna pay that much so yeah explore the town it's safe it's a vibe so it's definitely a vibe in south southern Tanzania so I trust you have enjoyed today's vlog um, if you want to learn more, if you have any further questions, leave a comment in the comment section below this video and I'll get back to you. Peace out.